Hello there. So let's install the Nginx proxy in the DigitalOcean droplet. There's a few tweaks here, uh, but we're going to walk you through how to reach the other side. Okay, let's get this really simple here. Let's put a root password. Got to be some very strong password. We normally set up uh, firewalls and everything, but in our case here, let's just keep it simple. Okay, it seems our droplet it's ready, so let's connect to it. Here it's root user, so we gotta yes. <laughs> Ooh, permission denied. Let's try again. It will ask for the password. Okay, it seems, yeah, okay, done. So now let's first thing, clone the easy, easy server scripts. So we're gonna be able to install everything else that we want. Once we are the, we only have the root user for this droplet, we must set up a few things. Normally we have the um, a user installation here, but in this case for droplets for DigitalOcean, uh, the sudo uh, doesn't really work as we expected. So we're gonna just need to uh, make some adjustments here. So let's copy this Envy, let's edit it. Let's add the new user. Normally you just don't, don't use Ubuntu, but let's put Ubuntu here just for, um, to be a little bit simpler. Normally we run this as Ubuntu, so we use sudo. In this case, we're not gonna do that. Let's remove this, this commands here. I might update this script so it doesn't really need to run as sudo. Um, I think that will be it. We're not gonna need this. Once the sudo is, it's not really working well in these droplets. So let's go out and let's add this user. Ubuntu doesn't exist. Docker doesn't exist. Okay. We haven't installed Docker yet, so let's remove that. And let's try again. Okay. Let's put just a simple password. Let's see if this user now has sudo powers. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay. So what we do now? Now we're going to start. So let's clone again this. Get on. Let's do this. The installation process. First thing, we're going to install this aliases that we use. Load. We're going to look out and log in again. Clean up. And there it is. Now we're going to install. First thing we're going to install it's the Docker. So this is the script to install Docker the password and what does the script do it will install the docker using the docker script for itself install also the docker compose and um, the docker compose completion so that's uh, so just uh, an easy way to run it let's wait a little bit and we we'll come back really soon normally it doesn't take long but uh, let's see okay it's done there's a um, uh, permission denied here. Just log out and log in again, so the uh, the group will be updated. Okay, so now we have the Docker running. Let's go now to the installation and let's install the nginx proxy. To install the nginx proxy, we just need to update the email here and make sure we choose the right path or you know, the path that we want. Let's just put John do the .br. and here's the path where we're going to keep the um, our proxy data so let's just skip this as it is so let's install here the nginx proxy and normally it's pretty fast to put up the nginx proxy and it will reply and by the nginx so let's check this let's get the ip address 
and let's just put in the browser. Okay, so we are being replied by the Nginx proxy. Now let's set up, let's test it with our um, domain. So here in the, uh, let me just change here the domain really quick. So server and proxy. And uh, this, this folders were created by the installation script. So inside the compose folder, we have the Nginx proxy automation, uh, this one, this repository here. And inside the data folder, we have all the Nginx proxy information and data, including certificates, uh, uh, Nginx configuration files, and, and everything else. Uh, so let's go to the composer, compose bean folder, and here we have a test. So let's test with dobooty.com.br. It will start a new Apache uh, Alpine container. Okay, so it's done. Let's try in the browser, uh, do.br. Okay, it works. It says it works. But if you notice here, it's not, it doesn't have SSL. So let's stop this container and let's try it with the SSL version. do.do.br. So what's going to happen to now? It, um, this uh, container, the Let's Encrypt, it will fire up a new certificate for this domain. So let's follow up here and it's done. So, and when we refresh here, it's just going to pop up our new certificate. Now we have an SSL in our site and that's it. Thank you all for watching.